as you start to use network shares in your daily workflow, you might want to configure your computer to automatically mount specific shares when you log into macOS. To demonstrate, we're going to have our computer auto mount one of the network shares that we currently have mounted. If we open System Settings, and from the sidebar we select General. From within General, if we locate and choose Login Items, by dragging a map drive into the Open at Login field, as long as the computer is connected to our home network, that map drive will automatically open when we log into our computer. Let's log out of our account and log back in again. As you can see, when we log back into macOS, macOS automatically mounts our network share so that it is ready for us to use. While using this method for mounting network shares does work, macOS will open a finder window for each network share that we have configured to auto mount when we sign into macOS. So to get around this issue, we're going to need to create a script that mounts our network shares and have that script run when we sign into our computer. If from within macOS we open Launchpad and then locate and select Other, inside of the Other folder we will find an application called Script Editor. If we load this application, we will be presented with a blank page where we can create our script. While AppleScript is designed to be a programming language that is easy to understand and learn, to avoid mistakes we're going to paste the code that we need to use into Script Editor. You will find a copy of this code on our website, which we've linked to in the description for this video. In order for the script to work, we now need to make two changes. First is in between the quote marks after mount volume. This needs to be changed to smb colon forward slash forward slash the IP address of your NAS forward slash the name of the network share that you wish to mount. If you want macOS to automatically mount additional network shares, you will now need to copy and paste this line of code, then edit the name of the network share to include your other shares. Next, as our script will send a notification stating that our network shares have been successfully mounted, we need to edit the notification message. So inside of the quote marks after title, we're going to substitute network name for the name of our home network. Let's now test that our script works by pressing Run. As you can see, Script Editor tidies our script to make it easier to read. And along with a notification, we have three network shares appear as icons on our desktop. Let's save our script by selecting File and Save. We now need to turn our script into an application so that it can be set to auto run when we sign into our computer. Once again, if we select File, but this time choose Export, if we change the file format from Script to Application, and make sure that code sign is set to Sign to Run Locally, when we select Save, a small application that can be run independently of Script Editor is created. We can now close Script Editor and dismount from the network shares that we currently have open. If we now reopen System Settings and return to Login Items, if you previously mapped network shares in Open at Login, you first need to remove these items from the list. This is done by simply highlighting an item and selecting the minus icon. Now, if we drag and drop our application into the area under Open at Login, our script will be set to automatically run. While we will need to keep our application file saved on our computer, we can tidy our desktop. So we're going to save the application and script files to a location in our local user profile. If we open Finder, and from the sidebar choose Macintosh HD, we will find listed a folder called Users. 
If we open this folder, we will find all of the local user profiles created on this computer. When we select the profile we're currently working in, we will see a list of the default folders for our user profile. It is here that we've created a folder called scripts, which is where we like to keep any scripts or applications that we've created. Let's sign out of our computer and sign back in again to confirm that our application works. While there is a short delay at sign in, as our computer has to run our script and mount the network shares on our NAS, as you can see, Finder no longer opens a new Finder window for each of our network shares.